please, please do not put this PC together. Trust me, it is not a good idea. I am Valentino and in today's video, I will be fixing my subscriber gaming PC build list and giving my subscriber a much better gaming PC for the price. If you want me to help you fix your system and get featured in a video like this one, the instructions will be down below in the video description and in the comment section. Also, this is a video idea from the PC Builder YouTube channel, so big shout out to him. With that being said, let's start. So we have Jason over here who says, hey Val, I need help with my PC list, my budget is $800. I can stretch it to around a thousand and I want to do gaming at 1080p. I play CS2, Fly Simulator, GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2. I do like RGB, but I want to prioritize performance in case the RGB makes it more expensive. Let's see what you got. I think for a thousand dollars or 800, we can do a really good job, especially for the games that you play. Now, Fly Simulator is very high demanding, but we will see what you got and then I will fix it from there. So this is the build that you went with and please, Please, please do not put this PC together. Trust me, it is not a good idea. And the reason why it's not a good idea, nothing against you, bro. Like, I do not want to disrespect you or anything. But the reason why is the power supply. You went with a 550 watt power supply and you went with the i5 12600K. Trust me, it is not recommended to go with 550 watts when talking about a 12600K. Just not the most power efficient CPU out there. So I would recommend at least 650 watts for safety. Do not put this PC together, especially since the power supply is $60. And trust me, for around the same price, you can get a 650 watt power supply that has the same rating as this power supply. So that's the first thing. The second thing I want to talk about is that CPU and GPU combo. I do not like it. With the i5 12600K and the RTX 3060, you will not be getting very high FPS, especially in a game like Fly Simulator, which is very high demanding. Now, for some of the other games that you mentioned, like Red Dead Redemption 2, GTA 5, this CPU and GPU combo will be completely fine and you will be achieving a very smooth performance but you also said you wanted to play fly simulator and you didn't tell me the settings but i'm guessing you want to play at least on high to ultra settings the rtx 3060 is just not capable of doing that at 1080p i would recommend you upgrading the gpu here which i will do for you in a second and i will show you the level of performance that you can get with a much better gpu and around the same price now this one is 850 bucks so you're a bit over your 800 dollar budget but i would recommend you stretching to 1000 which you said you can do especially since you play fly simulator if you don't want to play that game that much then sure we can get away with a much cheaper system but that game is very high demand another thing i do not like is this memory kit 16 gigs of ram of ddr5 memory but this is 5200 cl42 timings which is a very slow type of ram and yes i get it it's 49 bucks which is not that expensive considering it's ddr5 but you are not getting any benefits since this is a slow memory we can get 32 gigs of ram which is going to be beneficial if you want to do other tasks such as content creation or streaming. Then you went with a good CPU cooler, actually appropriate for the i5 12600K, but you can get a CPU that's much more power efficient, more upgradable, performs about the same, and doesn't require more cooling than the stock cooler. Don't worry, I will get to that in a second. And then you went with the B760 Astroc motherboard. I wouldn't recommend at this price point I know it's $90 and you get DDR5 memory, but when we are talking about this budget, I wouldn't recommend you going DDR5. Now, if you stretch to $1,000, then yes, we can get DDR5 memory and a more upgradable platform. But at this price point, you really want to maximize your gaming performance. Then another big mistake is the storage. You went with a one terabyte Gen 3 SSD for $97. Do not fall into the trap of buying because of the brand. Samsung is a great brand for storage drives, but trust me, you do not need to spend $97 on a one terabyte SSD. Actually, for around the same price, you can get two terabytes of Gen 3 SSD and get the same gaming performance. It doesn't matter if you buy a Gen 3 or a Gen 4 or even a Gen 5 drive, the gaming performance is going to be the same. There's literally no difference. As long as you get an M.2 drive, then you are good to go. Then the case choice, I like it, is the Bitphoenix Nova Mesh Micro ATX case. This one has three principal fans, a front mesh panel, really good case overall. In my opinion, it's one of the best cases for this price very good airflow overall an amazing choice here so you ended up going with an 850 dollar gaming system that will allow you to play every game that you mentioned except for fly simulator on high to ultra settings but i wouldn't put it together as i said before because of the power supply so now i will fix this build
So this is the system I ended up going with. And first, let's talk about the price. I stretch your budget to $1,000, but I'm going to give you three options. And the other two options are cheaper, but I will explain why I do recommend you stretching to $1,000 and going with this one. The reason why is because here you get the Ryzen 5 7600 for the CPU, which is an amazing processor, much more power efficient than the 12600K, around the same price actually, in terms of just the CPU pricing, you are going to be getting around the same performance, but as I said before, much more power efficient. And I ended up going with a $20 cooler. This is going to be amazing for a Ryzen 5 7600. It's going to keep the temperature down and also it's going to be less noisy. But if you want, you can take this one away and save $20. Anyway, for the GPU and the most important part in terms of gaming, we have the RX 6800. This is a 16 gig of VRAM graphics card. So you get four gigs of extra VRAM compared to the 3060 which is not really that important because you are going to play at 1080p anyway. But the 6800 is going to outperform the 3060 with a difference of about 60 to 70% faster rasterized gaming performance, which is an insane increase. As you can see here, this is a test from TechSpot on a 15M average at 1080p. This is high tool trust settings in very high demanding titles. You can go ahead to their website and watch the benchmark yourself individually if you want to see each game. But we are talking about games like Howard's Legacy, Starfield, Cyberpunk 2077, and all of these on high to ultra settings. So the RTX 3060, the graphics card that you went with, was able to average 79 FPS, which is not bad, but the RX 6800 was able to average over 120 FPS. Now for the other games that you mentioned, you can get away with a much cheaper graphics card. And usually I say that the RX 6800 is overkill for 1080p, but in this case, just because because you said flight simulator, this is going to be ideal and you will be able to achieve high to ultra settings 60 to 80 plus FPS on average on flight simulator at 1080p. The other things that I changed is the memory kit. I went with 32 gigs of DDR5 memory. This is 6000 megahertz CL30 timings, a much better and faster memory kit. And as I said before, 32 gigs of RAM is going to allow you to not only do gaming, but also other tasks such as streaming and content creation. And then I went with the same power supply that you had, but this one is a 6 and 50 watt 80 plus bronze power supply CT rated amazing unit almost the same price as the one that you went with and I feel much better recommending this, especially since I have a Ryzen 5 7600, which is more power efficient. And the RX 6800 is going to consume more power than the 3060, but that's because it's much faster. So it makes sense. So the price for this one is almost a thousand dollars. And if you are okay with lowering the settings to medium or high in flight simulator, then I have another option for you, which is basically the same PC. But in this case, I went with the RX 6750 XT and I took out the aftermarket CPU cooler. So here you are sticking to the stock cooler from AMD, which is a very good choice anyway for this Ryzen 5 7600. And if you make this downgrade, the total price will be 930 bucks. You are going to be getting amazing 1080p performance. In fact, here you can see the 6700 XT and the 4060 Ti. Now the 4060 Ti is closer in performance to the 6750 XT because the 6750 XT is just not on this test. But you can expect around 111 plus FPS on average at 1080p ultra settings in high demanding titles. So you can expect 60 plus FPS on average in flight simulator in medium to high settings. And if you are okay with going with just medium settings or low in flight simulator to achieve 60 plus FPS, then this option is closer to your budget. And I went with the RTX 4060, which is slightly faster than the 3060. Here you can see 90 plus FPS on average compared to the 79 FPS on average from the 3060. But you get a more upgradable platform because you are going with a Ryzen 5 7600 and the AM5 platform, which means that if down the line you upgrade to the fastest CPU in the market, you will not have to upgrade the motherboard. You just take your CPU out, the Ryzen 5 7600, and install the new 7800 X3D. Then I went with a one terabyte Gen 4 SSD, which is going for 60 bucks, which is much cheaper than the one that you were going with. And remember, it's not going to affect your gaming performance. Overall, no matter which one you choose here, you are going to be playing a 1080p high to ultra settings in high demanding titles, high FPS. But even this one, which is the cheapest one that I gave you today, remember that if you want to get featured in my next Boost My Build video, follow the instructions in the video description, where I will also give you free personal PC help. In case you want to buy a new gaming PC, maybe it's a PC build or a pre-built PC, I will help you out depending on your specific budget and your